guys, welcome back to KK's Depotting Show. <laughs> okay, so I am in the mood to depot something and I need to depot something easy though because I ordered some more magnetic stickers, you know, to put on the back of the shadows and they haven't arrived yet. They are late. So I went through my drawer of decluttering palettes and decided I wanted to go ahead and depot this Bad Habit Dream State 15 Shade Pressed Glitter Collection. That's a mouthful, right? So this palette is actually a dupe palette for the Fenty um, Galaxy palette, okay? So I know you guys remember this palette when it came out. It was like <laughs> such a huge hubbub because it was uh, Fenty's first palette. And then there was a lot of drama surrounding it because of the fact that it is like an all glitter palette. So I'm trying not to blind you guys, but you guys know. This is what she looks like. Basically all shimmery, glittery <laughs> shadows in here. And, you know, there were a lot of people that didn't really care for that. Me personally, you know, I didn't care. I thought it was pretty and I liked it, but I guess I didn't like it that much because I never use it. So, <laughs> of course, I'm not depotting my Fenty palette. I just wanted to show you this. Actually, I do want to do some swatches from this palette just so you guys can see why I want to depot it. This palette is really, really pretty, you guys. Let me see if I can get... Okay, there we go. Yeah, this palette is really, really pretty. It has some gorgeous, like shimmery, glittery, shiny type shadows in here. But the formula for these shadows is a bit different than the Fenty. So I wanna just do some quick comparison swatches of these two palettes, just so you guys can see what I mean about the Fenty being more glittery than the Bad Habit. So as you can see, for the most part, the Fenty appears to be a little more shimmery. This blue is not really that glittery. Both of these, actually the Bad Habit looks a little bit brighter to me. These two are very, very close, but the Fenty is a little bit brighter. And for the greens, you can definitely see the Fenty is more shimmery, more bright. But the Bad Habit green is actually really pretty as well. So. They came fairly close with the colors, but didn't quite match the formula of the Fenty. Okay, so with all of that being said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep every single one of these shadows, but I'm probably going to keep a good number of them. Let's see. Okay, so that shadow right there, I definitely don't like. It's very crumbly and it's not very impressive. So this one here, I'm probably not going to keep. I'm definitely keeping this green. Now this shadow here is very pretty. This one, I don't think I really need. So all three of those are really pretty. I'll probably keep those. And then one more. Kind of like a dark... I don't know, metallic. Mm, I don't really care for it, so I probably won't keep that. Okay, so this palette should be fairly easy to depot because with this being a Bad Habit palette, these pans are already magnetic or magnetized, so I should just be able to pop them right out. Now, these shadows are kind of delicate because they are shimmers so I'm going to try and be a little bit careful with them but you see they just pop right out and they're already magnetized I love that about the bad habit palettes too bad bad habit is not around anymore <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so that was fairly easy. These are the two that I didn't really care for, so I'm just going to leave those because I don't need to take those out of the palette because I'm not keeping them. This blue is actually a very popular blue <laughs> when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, so I honestly probably won't keep it just because of the fact that I have so many other blue singles that are similar to this. As a matter of fact, let me take a quick look. Okay, so this is one of my other single eyeshadow palettes that I've been working on. And this one has a lot of my beautiful kind of burgundy and, you know, just rose toned, warm toned shadows, as well as a side that has some blues and greens. So as you can see, I already have some blue shimmers in here that I would probably like better than that one. So let me just swatch a few of these just so I can show you what I mean by not keeping a lot of shadows that are extremely close or the same. That one is, oh, <gasps> that one's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, okay, so like I was saying, these are, this is the blue one from the Bad Habit palette. These are some blue shimmers that I already have in my singles collection. So as you can see, I definitely don't need the Bad Habit one. This one is absolutely gorgeous, nice and dark and rich. And these two are very pretty as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one from Bad Habit because I do not need another blue shimmer. And not only those, but also in my Adept um, palette that I have here, I do have this blue which, oh my gosh, it feels amazing. And let me just swatch this one also. <laughs> so that is the blue from my Adept Cosmetics. Okay, so yeah. Honestly, I only need these two. All the rest can go. <laughs> but yeah, that is the bomb, okay? I mean, there are a lot of these other shadows that I might have similar ones to as well in my collection. But just right now at the top of my head, I'm feeling like I wanna keep them. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, with these shadows, until my larger palette comes, I'm just going to place them in this smaller palette that I got from Amazon. It's another all wand palette. Very, very pretty. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and place them in here for now. So before I place these in this empty palette, I'm just going to write on the back of here, uh, like BH for bad habit and then dream state because I don't really care about the actual shadow name, but I do care about what palette it came out of. So I'm just gonna write that on the back of each shadow and place it in this temporary palette. Okay, so now I have these shadows arranged very nicely in the smaller palette. And trust me, I will definitely use these once I incorporate these into my larger palette. I will definitely use these as toppers and shimmers in my eye looks because they're absolutely beautiful. And I would never reach for that Dream State palette just for a shimmer, I just wouldn't. So very happy I depotted that. Okay, one more easy to pop for today. This is my 24 karat gold palette. This was a collab palette 
um, that Shop Hush did with I don't know is it AS Cosmetics AJ Cosmetics she's a YouTuber um, beauty influencer I can never remember her name I'll put it on the screen but yeah when I saw this palette and it's actually a very nice quality palette but once again it's just completely full of shimmers that I will never reach just for this palette for because all they have in here is this black and this brown over here is matte to do eye looks so although it's a very pretty palette you know some really gorgeous shimmers in here i would never reach for this but if some of these were mixed in with my other shimmers in my larger palette then I would definitely use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and depot some of these. I'm gonna do a few swatches just so I can get an idea of what I want to depot. I'm not going to keep any of the mattes out of this palette, which is just the black, the brown, and the tan, because I have a million of those already. So I'm just gonna swatch some of these shimmers and see how I feel about them. Okay, so these are all the shimmers in this palette. It's basically a palette full of shimmers. This one here is like a cross between some type of matte with glitter in it. So I'm not keeping that, but yeah, these are, <laughs> there's a lot of just varying shades of gold in this 24 karat gold palette. I definitely want to keep a lot of these here don't need all of them, but I'm going to keep them until I can figure out which ones I want to keep. And maybe just a couple down here. This green shimmer here, um, I did just pull, you know, this green out of the Bad Habit palette. So let me see. I'll compare those two. So I'm feeling like out of the two, the one out of the bad habit i would prefer because it's definitely bolder and more opaque so yeah i definitely want to keep the one from the bad habit i think now this one green shade out of that i took out of the bad habit palette it's so pretty but it is a bit loose it feels a little bit loose a little crumbly so i'm just going to spray it with a little bit of my alcohol just to kind of help it set in that pan a little bit better so it's not so loose and crumbly. And just let that dry. I just cut the mirror off so I don't have to deal with it sure about this white one it has a little bit of a gold shift to it I don't know if you can see that probably not but it's white with a little bit of a gold shift I know I have shadows like that already but I want to compare it so I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out until I can compare it and let me make sure on this green it's a really pretty green I'm gonna take the green too, just in case. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Okay, so I think that is it for this palette. Yeah, no. 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 Yeah, I don't like the texture of that. It's a pretty brown, but it's a no. I already have too many blacks, so yeah no i'm gonna pass on that so the rest of these shadows in this palette can be trashed okay now since i'm not sure about this white i do want to go ahead and swatch it and compare it to a couple of other shadows that i have that is very unique you see that gold shift in there oh my gosh that is really pretty I don't know if I have anything like that. So this is my Adept 
palette <laughs> and the white shadows in here they look white but they actually these are diamond shades so they kind of shift to different colors so I just want to swatch some of these and see if any of these shift the same no they don't this one has gosh it, it looks very white but it has a little bit of a pink shift this one has a green shift and this one has a lavender purple shift so those are all different than this gold shift i want to check one more of my deep potting palettes this is a humongous palette that i got it's the colored rain and power uh, empty magnetic palette <laughs> has a giant mirror in here as well so I bought this during the Black Friday sale and I filled it up with pretty much a lot of Bad Habit and Shop Hush palettes they are all in this one palette and I love it okay so let me see if I have anything in here that it might be similar to let's try this one and this one well, it might be similar to this one. Okay, so. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, it definitely looks like, gosh, it's still not the same though. It's a little similar to this one. Yeah, it's still different. They all kind of, shift a little bit different even though they're similar they do shift different so i'm gonna keep it i know you're like ah you don't need all of those kk but you know what i'll figure it out later okay i'm keeping it okay so now i have to figure out how i want to put these in here until i move these into a larger palette i'm not going to be able to fit them in here two rows not if i do it the long way or not if i do it you know straight up and down but if I do it this way, I can fit them in there um, in two rows. So let me just do like this. So this is the fun part if you are extremely particular about things. <laughs> Putting this in your palette in a way that looks appealing to you. Okay, so, so far I can live with this. So these are all of my new shimmers that I'm going to have fun playing with. And I'm really happy that I depotted these two because now I'm actually going to use these instead of them just sitting in the drawer because I'm not gonna grab those palettes. So very happy about this. I don't like that. I'm going to bring this one down and slide it there and i'm going to bring this one down and slide it there okay that's better <laughs> i know some of you guys are out there like yes thank you kk and that looks much better okay so yeah that is it those are some beautiful shimmers that i'm going to be able to play with so that is it for today's episode of deep potting with kk hope you guys had fun <laughs> i will see you on my next one toodles